The Alemanni, also Alemanni Subi, Swabians, were a confederation of Germanic tribes on the Upper Rhine River. First mentioned by Cassius Dio in the context of the campaign of Caracalla of 213, the Alemanni captured the Agri Decamates in 260, and later expanded into present-day Alsace, and northern Switzerland, leading to the establishment of the Old High German language in those regions, by the 8th century named Alemannia. In 496, the Alemanni were conquered by Frankish leader Clovis and incorporated into his dominions. Mentioned as still pagan allies of the Christian Franks, the Alemanni were gradually Christianized during the 7th century. The Lex Alemannorum is a record of their customary law during this period. Until the 8th century, Frankish suzerainty over Alemannia was mostly nominal. After an uprising by Thudbald, Duke of Alemannia, though, Carloman executed the Alemannic nobility and installed Frankish dukes. During the later and weaker years of the Carolingian Empire, the Alemannic counts became almost independent, and a struggle for supremacy took place between them and the bishopric of Constance. The chief family in Alemannia was that of the counts of Raetia Curiensis, who were sometimes called Margraves, and one of whom, Burchard II, established the Duchy of Swabia, which was recognized by Henry the Fowler in 919 and became a stem duchy of the Holy Roman Empire. The area settled by the Alemanni corresponds roughly to the area where Alemannic German dialects remain spoken, including German Swabia and Baden, French Alsace, German-speaking Switzerland, and Austrian Vorarlberg. The French language name of Germany, Alemagna, is derived from their name, from Old French Aleman t, from French loaned into a number of other languages. Name According to Gaius Asinius Quadratus quoted in the mid-6th century by Byzantine historian Agathias, the name Alemanni Alemanoi means, all men. It indicates that they were a conglomeration drawn from various Germanic tribes. The Romans and the Greeks called them as such mentioned. This derivation was accepted by Edward Gibbon, in his Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire and by the anonymous contributor of notes assembled from the papers of Nicolas Freire, published in 1753, who noted that it was the name used by outsiders for those who called themselves the Subi. This etymology has remained the standard derivation of the name. Walifred Strabo in the 9th century remarked, in discussing the people of Switzerland and the surrounding regions, that only foreigners called them the Alemanni, but that they gave themselves the name of Subi. An alternative suggestion by Francis Palgrave proposed derivation from asterisk Allah. Sanctuary. The Subi are given the alternative name of Ziawari as Siuari in an old High German gloss, interpreted by Jacob Grimm as Martim Calentes. Worshippers of Mars. History Topic. First appearance in historical record The Alemanni were first mentioned by Cassius Dio describing the campaign of Caracalla in 213. At that time, they apparently dwelt in the basin of the Main, to the south of the Chatti. Cassius Dio portrays the Alemanni as victims of this treacherous emperor. They had asked for his help, according to Dio, but instead he colonized their country, changed their place names, and executed their warriors under a pretext of coming to their aid. When he became ill, the Alemanni claimed to have put a hex on him. Caracalla, it was claimed, tried to counter this influence by invoking his ancestral spirits. In retribution, Caracalla then led the Legio II Traiana Fortis against the Alemanni, who lost and were pacified for a time. The legion was as a result honored with the name Germanica. Quote, the 4th century fictional Historia Augusta, Life of Antoninus Caracalla, relates that Caracalla then assumed the name Alemannicus, at which Helvius Pertinax jested that he should really be called Geticus Maximus, because in the year before he had murdered his brother, Geta. Through much of his short reign, Caracalla was known for unpredictable and arbitrary operations launched by surprise after a pretext of peace negotiations. If he had any reasons of state for such actions, they remained unknown to his contemporaries. Whether or not the Alemanni had been previously neutral, they were certainly further influenced by Caracalla to become thereafter notoriously implacable enemies of Rome. This mutually antagonistic relationship is perhaps the reason why the Roman writers persisted in calling the Alemanni Barbary, meaning savages. 
The archaeology, however, shows that they were largely Romanized, lived in Roman style houses, and used Roman artifacts, the Alemannic women having adopted the Roman fashion of the tunica even earlier than the men. Most of the Alemanni were probably at the time, in fact, resident in or close to the borders of Germania Superior. Although Dio is the earliest writer to mention them, Ammianus Marcellinus used the name to refer to Germans on the Limes Germanicus in the time of Trajan's governorship of the province shortly after it was formed, around 98–99 AD. At that time, the entire frontier was being fortified for the first time. Trees from the earliest fortifications found in Germania Inferior are dated by dendrochronology to 99–100 AD. Ammianus relates XVII.1.11 that much later the Emperor Julian undertook a punitive expedition against the Alemanni, who by then were in Alsace, and crossed the main Latin menus, entering the forest, where the trails were blocked by felled trees. As winter was upon them, they reoccupied a fortification which was founded on the soil of the Alemanni that Trajan wished to be called with his own name. In this context, the use of Alemanni is possibly an anachronism, but it reveals that Ammianus believed they were the same people, which is consistent with the location of the Alemanni of Caracalla's campaigns. <laughs> Alemanni and Hermondori The early detailed source, the Germania of Tacitus, has sometimes been interpreted in such a way as to provide yet other historical problems. In Chapter 42 the Hermondori were a tribe certainly located in the region that later became Thuringia. Tacitus stated that they traded with Raetia, which in Ptolemy is located across the Danube from Germania Superior. A logical conclusion to draw is that the Hermondori extended over later Swabia and therefore the Alemanni originally derived from the Hermondori. However, no Hermondori appear in Ptolemy, though after the time of Ptolemy, the Hermondori joined with the Marcomanni in the wars of 166–180 against the Empire. A careful reading of Tacitus provides one solution. He says that the source of the Elbe is among the Hermondori, somewhat to the east of the Upper Main. He places them also between the Neristi Veristi, whose location at the very edge of the ancient Black Forest is well known, and the Marcomanni and Quadi. Moreover, the Hermondori were broken in the Marcomannic Wars and made a separate peace with Rome. The Alemanni thus were probably not primarily the Hermondori, although some elements of them may have been present in the mix of peoples at that time that became Alemannian. Topic. Ptolemy geography Before the mention of Alemanni in the time of Caracalla, one would search in vain for Alemanni in the moderately detailed geography of southern Germany in Claudius Ptolemy, written in Greek in the mid-2nd century. At that time, the people who later used that name likely were known by other designations. Nevertheless, some conclusions can be drawn from Ptolemy. Germania Superior is easily identified. Following up the Rhine 1 comes to a town, Matiacum, which must be at the border of the Roman Germany vicinity of Wiesbaden. Upstream from it and between the Rhine and Abnoba in the Black Forest are the Ingriones, Inturgi, Vangiones, Caritni and Vispi, some of whom were there since the days of the early empire or before. On the other side of the northern Black Forest were the Chatti about where Hesse is today, on the lower main. Historic Swabia was eventually replaced by today's Baden-Württemberg, but it had been the most significant territory of medieval Alemannia, comprising all Germania Superior and territory east to Bavaria. It did not include the Upper Main, but that is where Caracalla campaigned. Moreover, the territory of Germania Superior was not originally included among the Alemanni's possessions. However, if one looks for the peoples in the region from the Upper Main in the north, south to the Danube and east to the Czech Republic where the Quadi and Marcomanni were located, Ptolemy does not give any tribes. The Tubanti are just south of the Chatti and at the other end of what was then the Black Forest, the Varisti, whose location is known. One possible reason for this distribution is that the population preferred not to live in the forest except in troubled times. The region between the forest and the Danube, though, included about a dozen settlements, or cantons. Ptolemy's view of Germans in the region indicates that the tribal structure had lost its grip in the Black Forest region and was replaced by a canton structure. The tribes stayed in the Roman province, perhaps because the Romans offered stability. Also, Caracalla perhaps felt more comfortable about campaigning in the Upper Main because he was not declaring war on any specific historic tribe, such as the Chatti or Cherishi, against whom Rome had suffered grievous losses. 
By Caracalla's time, the name Alemanni was being used by cantons themselves banding together for purposes of supporting a citizen army the war bands. Topic. Concentration of Germanic peoples under Ariovistus The term Subi has a double meaning in the sources. On the one hand Tacitus's Germania tells us chapters 38, 39 that they occupy more than half of Germany, use a distinctive hair style, and are spiritually centered on the Semnons. On the other hand, the Subi of the Upper Danube are described as though they were a tribe. The solution to the puzzle as well as explaining the historical circumstances leading to the choice of the Agri decamates as a defensive point and the concentration of Germans there are probably to be found in the German attack on the Gallic fortified town of Visanchio in 58 BC. The Upper Rhine and Danube appear to form a funnel pointing straight at Visanchio. Julius Caesar in Gallic Wars tells us 1 .51 that Ariovistus had gathered an army from a wide region of Germany, but especially the Haruds, Marcomanni, Triboci, Vangiones, Nemitas and Sadduci. The Subi were being invited to join. They lived in 100 cantons 4 .1 from which 1,000 young men per year were chosen for military service, a citizen army by our standards and by comparison with the Roman professional army. Ariovistus had become involved in an invasion of Gaul, which the German wished to settle. Intending to take the strategic town of Visanchio, he concentrated his forces on the Rhine near Lake Constance, and when the Subi arrived, he crossed. The Gauls had called to Rome for military aid. Caesar occupied the town first and defeated the Germans before its walls, slaughtering most of the German army as it tried to flee across the river 1.36 ff. He did not pursue the retreating remnants, leaving what was left of the German army and their dependents intact on the other side of the Rhine. The Gauls were ambivalent in their policies toward the Romans. In 53 BC the Treveri broke their alliance and attempted to break free of Rome. Caesar foresaw that they would now attempt to ally themselves with the Germans. He crossed the Rhine to forestall that event, a successful strategy. Remembering their expensive defeat at the Battle of Visanchio, the Germans withdrew to the Black Forest, concentrating there a mixed population dominated by Subi. As they had left their tribal homes behind, they probably took over all the former Celtic cantons along the Danube. Topic. Conflicts with the Roman Empire The Alemanni were continually engaged in conflicts with the Roman Empire in the 3rd and 4th centuries. They launched a major invasion of Gaul and northern Italy in 268, when the Romans were forced to denude much of their German frontier of troops in response to a massive invasion of the Goths from the east. Their raids throughout the three parts of Gaul were traumatic. Gregory of Tours died ca. 594 mentions their destructive force at the time of Valerian and Gallienus 253-260, when the Alemanni assembled under their king, whom he calls Crocus, who by the advice, it is said, of his wicked mother, and overran the whole of the Gauls, and destroyed from their foundations all the temples which had been built in ancient times. And coming to Clermont he set on fire, overthrew and destroyed that shrine which they call Vasogalati in the Gallic tongue." Martyring many Christians Historia Francorum Book 1.32-34 Thus 6th century Gallo-Romans of Gregory's class, surrounded by the ruins of Roman temples and public buildings, attributed the destruction they saw to the plundering raids of the Alemanni. In the early summer of 268, the Emperor Gallienus halted their advance into Italy, but then had to deal with the Goths. When the Gothic campaign ended in Roman victory at the Battle of Nasus in September, Gallienus's successor Claudius Gothicus turned north to deal with the Alemanni, who were swarming over all Italy north of the Po River. After efforts to secure a peaceful withdrawal failed, Claudius forced the Alemanni to battle at the Battle of Lake Benicus in November. The Alemanni were routed, forced back into Germany, and did not threaten Roman territory for many years afterwards. Their most famous battle against Rome took place in Argentoratum Strasbourg, in 357, where they were defeated by Julian, later Emperor of Rome, and their king Schnodemarius was taken prisoner to Rome. On January 2, 366, the Alemanni yet again crossed the frozen Rhine in large numbers, to invade the Gallic provinces, this time being defeated by Valentinian see Battle of Cilicinium. In the great mixed invasion of 406, the Alemanni appear to have crossed the Rhine River a final time, conquering and then settling what is today Alsace and a large part of the Swiss Plateau. 
The crossing is described in Wallace Bream's historical novel Eagle in the Snow. The Chronicle of Fredegar gives the account. At Alba Augusta Alba la Romaine, the devastation was so complete, that the Christian bishop retired to Viviers, but in Gregory's account at Mend in Lozier, also deep in the heart of Gaul, Bishop Provatus was forced to sacrifice to idols in the very cave where he was later venerated. It is thought this detail may be a generic literary ploy to epitomize the horrors of barbarian violence. Topic. List of battles between Romans and Alemanni 259 – Battle of Mediolanum — Emperor Gallienus defeats the Alemanni to rescue Rome 268 – Battle of Lake Benicus — Romans under Emperor Claudius II defeat the Alemanni 271 – Battle of Placentia — Emperor Aurelian is defeated by the Alemanni forces invading Italy Battle of Fano — Aurelian defeats the Alemanni, who begin to retreat from Italy Battle of Pavia Aurelian destroys the retreating Alemanni army. 298 Battle of Lingonese — Caesar Constantius Chlorus defeats the Alemanni Battle of Vindonisa — Constantius again defeats the Alemanni 356 Battle of Reims — Caesar Julian is defeated by the Alemanni 357 Battle of Strasbourg — Julian expels the Alemanni from the Rhineland 367 – Battle of Cilicinium — Romans under Emperor Valentinian I defeat yet another Alemanni incursion. 378 – Battle of Argentoveria — Western Emperor Gratianus is victorious over the Alemanni, yet again. 451 – Battle of the Catalanian Fields Roman general Aetius and his army of Romans and barbarian allies defeat Attila's army of Huns and other Germanic allies, including the Alemanni. 457 – Battle of Campi Canini – Alemanni invade Italy and are defeated near Lake Maggiore by Majorian 554 – Battle of the Volturnus Armenian Roman general Narses defeats a combined force of Franks and Alemanni in southern Italy. Topic. Subjugation by the Franks The Kingdom of Alemannia between Strasbourg and Augsburg lasted until 496, when the Alemanni were conquered by Clovis I at the Battle of Tolbiac. The War of Clovis with the Alemanni forms the setting for the conversion of Clovis, briefly treated by Gregory of Tours, Book 2.31 Subsequently, the Alemanni formed part of the Frankish dominions and were governed by a Frankish duke. In 746, Carloman ended an uprising by summarily executing all Alemannic nobility at the blood court at Cannstatt, and for the following century, Alemannia was ruled by Frankish dukes. Following the Treaty of Verdun of 843, Alemannia became a province of the Eastern Kingdom of Louis the German, the precursor of the Holy Roman Empire. The duchy persisted until 1268. Culture. Topic. Language The German spoken today over the range of the former Alemanni is termed Alemannic German, and is recognized among the subgroups of the High German languages. Alemannic runic inscriptions such as those on the P. Forzen buckle are among the earliest testimonies of Old High German. The High German consonant shift is thought to have originated around the 5th century either in Alemannia or among the Lombards, before that the dialect spoken by Alemannic tribes was little different from that of other West Germanic peoples. Alemannia lost its distinct jurisdictional identity when Charles Martel absorbed it into the Frankish Empire, early in the 8th century. Today, Alemannic is a linguistic term, referring to Alemannic German, encompassing the dialects of the southern two-thirds of Baden-Württemberg German state, in western Bavaria German state, in Vorarlberg Austrian state, Swiss German in Switzerland and the Alsatian language of the Alsace France. <laughs> Political organization The Alemanni established a series of territorially defined pagi cantons on the east bank of the Rhine. The exact number and extent of these pagi is unclear and probably changed over time. Pagi, usually pairs of pagi combined, formed kingdoms regna, which, it is generally believed, were permanent and hereditary. Ammianus describes Alemanni rulers with various terms, regs excelsiores anti-alios, paramount kings, regs proximi. 
neighboring kings, reguli, petty kings, and regales, princes. This may be a formal hierarchy, or they may be vague, overlapping terms, or a combination of both. In 357, there appear to have been two paramount kings Shnodamar and Westral, who probably acted as presidents of the confederation and seven other kings Riegs. Their territories were small and mostly strung along the Rhine although a few were in the hinterland. It is possible that the Reguli were the rulers of the two Pagi in each kingdom. Underneath the royal class were the nobles called optimates by the Romans and warriors called armati by the Romans. The warriors consisted of professional warbands and levies of free men. Each nobleman could raise an average of c. 50 warriors. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. The Christianization of the Alamanni took place during Merovingian times, 6th to 8th centuries. We know that in the 6th century, the Alamanni were predominantly pagan, and in the 8th century, they were predominantly Christian. The intervening 7th century was a period of genuine syncretism during which Christian symbolism and doctrine gradually grew in influence. Some scholars have speculated that members of the Alemannic elite such as King Gibud due to Visigothic influence may have been converted to Arianism even in the later 5th century. In the mid-6th century, the Byzantine historian Agathias records, in the context of the wars of the Goths and Franks against Byzantium, that the Alemanni fighting among the troops of Frankish King Thudbald were like the Franks in all respects except religion, since they worship certain trees, the waters of rivers, hills and mountain valleys, in whose honor they sacrifice horses, cattle and countless other animals by beheading them, and imagine that they are performing an act of piety thereby. He also spoke of the particular ruthlessness of the Alemanni in destroying Christian sanctuaries and plundering churches while the genuine Franks were respectful towards those sanctuaries. Agathias expresses his hope that the Alemanni would assume better manners through prolonged contact with the Franks, which is by all appearances, in a manner of speaking, what eventually happened. Apostles of the Alemanni were Columbanus and his disciple Saint Gaul. Jonas of Bobbio records that Columbanus was active in Bregenz, where he disrupted a beer sacrifice to Woden. Despite these activities, for some time, the Alemanni seem to have continued their pagan cult activities, with only superficial or syncretistic Christian elements. In particular, there is no change in burial practice, and tumulus warrior graves continue to be erected throughout Merovingian times. Syncretism of traditional Germanic animal style with Christian symbolism is also present in artwork, but Christian symbolism becomes more and more prevalent during the 7th century. Unlike the later Christianization of the Saxons and of the Slavs, the Alemanni seem to have adopted Christianity gradually, and voluntarily, spread in emulation of the Merovingian elite. From c. the 520s to the 620s, there was a surge of Alemannic elder Futhark inscriptions. About 70 specimens have survived, roughly half of them on fibulae, others on belt buckles CP buckle, Bulic fibula, and other jewelry and weapon parts. Use of runes subsides with the advance of Christianity. The Nordendorf fibula early 7th century clearly records pagan theonyms, Logoorwodanwegionar read as Woden and Donner are magicians, sorcerers, but this may be interpreted as either a pagan invocation of the powers of these deities, or a Christian protective charm against them. A runic inscription on a fibula found at Bad Ems reflects Christian pious sentiment and is also explicitly marked with a Christian cross, reading God Fura Dih Diophile God for, before you, Theophilus, or alternatively, God before you, Devil. Dated to between AD 660 and 690, it marks the end of the native Alemannic tradition of runic literacy. Bad Ems is in Rhineland Palatinate, on the northwestern boundary of Alemannic settlement, where Frankish influence would have been strongest. The establishment of the bishopric of Constance cannot be dated exactly and was possibly undertaken by Columbanus himself before 612. In any case, it existed by 635, when Gunzo appointed John of Grab bishop. Constance was a missionary bishopric in newly converted lands, and did not look back on late Roman church history unlike the Ration bishopric of Coeur established 451 and Basel an episcopal seat from 740, and which continued the line of bishops of Augusta Rorica, see Bishop of Basel. The establishment of the church as an institution recognized by worldly rulers is also visible in legal history. In the early 7th century Pactus Alemanorum hardly ever mentions the special privileges of the Church, while Lantfrid's Lex Alemanorum of 720 has an entire chapter reserved for ecclesial matters alone. 
Topic see also Analis Alemannici List of rulers of Alemannia List of confederations of Germanic tribes Armalausi Varishi Helveti topic References topic Literature Drinkwater, J. F. 2007 the Alemanni in Rome 213 Ian Wood ed., Franks and Alemanni in the Merovingian Period, An Ethnographic Perspective Studies in Historical Archaeoethnology, Boydell & Brewer Limited, 2003, ISBN 1-84383 035-3. Melchior Goldost, Rerum Alemannicarum Scriptores, 1606, 2nd ed. Sankenberg 1730 Topic External links The Agri decimates the Alemanni The military orientation of the Roman emperors Septimius Severus to Gallienus 146-268 CE. Brauchtum und Masken Alemannic Faschnot.